Welcome YouTubers again to part two of the radiator. My battery got overheated and it wasn't letting me do the video so I had to stop it. So sorry about that guys. Um, now um, check out part one of the video of the whole reinstallation of the radiator. Um, this is about 40 minute job. Uh, 1 through 10, 10 being uh, hard, let's say 10, 10 being easy, uh, 1 being hard. I give it, um, I give it about like an 8. It wasn't too bad. It took me longer because since I'm filming, um, that's why it's a little more complicated. But if I was just focusing on it by myself, I'd definitely give it a 10. Um, now we're going to add the radiator fluid. Uh, this truck is a Chevy. So you're going to say, oh, all coolants are the same. Uh, not really. They have different particles. So when you go there, you look at... You know what is recommended on your vehicle and like this one says right here for use in general motor vehicles dex cooling um, it's an orange 50-50 uh, which means has 50% coolant and 50% water um, there's different brands I decided to take the Napa because um, I was already spending Two hundred and thirty dollars just on the radiator plus the coolant. If I would have brought something else, it go about like twenty one, twenty three dollars a gallon. So it's like, so it's like, uh, I'll stick to Napa. We should be all right. These were about uh, about like eighteen dollars a piece. So it's about you know five six dollars difference. But after taxes and all the whole nine yard you know <laughs> it gets to be a little bit more so now we're gonna pour our coolant and our deposit we're gonna fill in this bastard um this bastard is gonna require maybe a little bit more coolant than I have but I got I got another one if, just in case I gotta put another one I'll pour some more all right let's start pouring this this baby some fluid all right so far I put two gallons in uh, now what we got to do is turn on the truck. What I like to do is squeeze this hose a little bit to um, see if it drops down a little bit. It's going down. Let's crank it up. By cranking the, uh, the truck, you're going to circulate the water and the water pump is going to suck up whatever water is in and fill, go through the radiator. And then you, you open your container, see how much more fluid you need. Let's turn it on. She's your champ. You see the reservoir tank? You see how much you drop? So that's how much more I gotta fill up. So you're talking about at least uh, two gallons and a half you're gonna need. Oh, maybe three, maybe more. All right, guys, we're gonna shut off the truck now. Now that water circulated, and we're gonna add more. All right, shut it off, and let's go put some more. All right, guys, we got the truck running. We're checking, make sure there's no leaks from the hoses, from the fittings. That we installed. Everything looks seems fine here on this side. Uh, we're gonna hose it down because there's still some oil fluid that leaked from the transmission. Uh, it didn't leak as bad, but if you want to go ahead and check your transmission dipstick, but this one poured barely anything, but I'll still give it a check. Once the truck heats up, always make sure you got 
heat up your truck before you check your transmission dipstick. Uh, the fluids, it's level, where it says. Um, this side looks looks good. Yeah. Hoses, everything seems fine. Um, we use antifreeze, uh, two gallons and a half. Uh, I thought I had a little bit more. I ended up having like two and a quarter, so I just put a quart, a quart of water, which is not recommended because I'm reducing more the the item, the, the antifreeze. But I have no problem. I could always drain some of this out myself and uh, add a little more antifreeze later. It's okay. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't be a problem, but. It, they want you to have 50 50 you know they don't want you to put more or less uh, of course we're in we're in Florida so basically Florida 50 50 is the best thing because remember it's too hot uh, if we're like in New York where it's, it's getting cold we got to change our antifreeze to 100% antifreeze so the, the engine won't freeze but here in Florida we use 50 50 um, so remember check where you at Maybe in your place where you're required to use a 100% antifreeze. Here in Florida, we use 50 50. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. And how to or other stuff. Put a comment if you need to. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.